Have you guys ever wondered what astronauts eat up in space? Well, I'm about to eat astronaut food. Okay, okay, hold on. Well, I'm about to eat only astronaut food for the entire day, starting with breakfast. Ah. Post base is here. Wait, where did my helmet go? Wait, I think it fell off the roof. My helmet's in the pool. Guys, you see it here. We're about to have some scrambled eggs and some whole strawberries for breakfast, but you actually need some hot water. So let's go get some. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So astronaut food is actually freeze dried and it is kept in an oxygen free environment to prevent mold and so it could last longer. We got some scrambled eggs with bacon, as you can see. So we're gonna open it up and see it for the first time. I actually heard from a friend that these are actually really, really good. Your friend's an astronaut? Yeah, he just came back from space right now. You know Lance? Yeah, he gave it to me. He gave me the food. Oh, damn. Okay, yo, this looks sick. We what can actually the... make that on top of your outfit. Should I just lay out in the sun and you yeah. pour it on me? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take this bad boy out and this is what it looks like. You can see some bacon bits in there as well. Looks like cereal. Oh my, imagine putting milk in there. Uh, we got the hot water here. I'm just gonna guess how much we put in. There's not really a line in there. <laughs> Is it hot? Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, ow, ow, ow. Oh, yo, it smells good. Damn. It actually smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna add some more. All right, so you stir it up and then you actually let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then it should be ready. We're gonna seal this bad boy up, let all the air out and we'll see you guys in five minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, the scrambled eggs are ready. And when I tell you, it smells delicious. I'm not lying. Here we go. I think I put a little bit too much water, but... Ooh, wow, that looks delicious. <laughs> looks like you're at Denny's. Actually, no, it looks more home cooked than anything. So fun fact for everyone watching, they actually designed to make these foods crumb free because when you're in space, there's no gravity and they don't want crumbs flying everywhere. Along with the eggs, we got the whole strawberries. I don't think you need to put hot water for this. I think you could just eat them. Oh, wow, these are about a hit. You think they're gonna be crunchy? A little bit. Oh, they smell good. Like chips. Interesting. Astronaut breakfast, here we go. <laughs> Wow, literally tastes like eggs and bacon. What else did I expect? <laughs> <laughs> but are they good? I would say I definitely did something wrong. Why? They taste good, it's just, um, they still feel a little hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Actually, no, it's good. It's good? Yeah, it is a little bit too hard. I think I should have left it in for another few minutes, but I think that's really good. This reminds me of Special K. Have you had that? Yeah. With the strawberries? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Special K? Literally. Because I think that's what it is. Freeze-dried strawberries. Yeah. In Special K, too. Healthy breakfast, though. Nutritious, healthy. You want to try it? Oh, yeah. Let's attack the eggs first with some bacon. Ooh, look at that bite, though. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Dude, right? <laughs> it's actually good. That's so good. That's better than some restaurants that I've been to. Yeah. Strawberry? This just looks weird. Looks like a flower. <laughs> if someone didn't water a flower, like a rose. <laughs> It's kind of sour. Yeah, it was pretty sour. You get that? That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah? Yeah, astronauts are like living for sure. So this doesn't have crumbs? That's crazy, That's what? It's like candy. Literally no crumbs. It's so sour. I'm gonna give the breakfast an eight out of 10. We got a lot more meals to eat and the menu's looking good today. We got a lot of food. Are you, are you good? It's so good. It's actually really good. <laughs> Yo, where's your attire? Uh, no one told me we were leaving to space. Is the Uber gonna be here soon? Yeah. Okay, I'll change. He's literally right outside. We just have to eat before. Anyways, guys, for this next meal, we're gonna have some chicken teriyaki. Just kidding, chicken teriyaki. Mariana oh. here called it chicken teriyaki, but I have no room to speak because I, I say Walmart. Nunca vengas a mi casa. Brian. That means like, I love you. Thanks for helping my brother with everything. Oh, so this chicken teriyaki with rice, green peas, carrots, peppers, and onions. Uh, does that all fit in this bag? <laughs> have you ever had this kind of food, like freeze dry? Not that I could remember. It actually has 12 grams of protein too, so. We got this, and then we have some cookies and cream ice cream sandwich. I have cinnamon apple wedges. It's all supposed to be crumb free. Listen to this. I hear a lot of crumbs. Mine's a crumb only. <laughs> Look at that. That looks good. Let's add some water and we'll see how it comes out. <laughs> Dude, that smells so good. Bro, it smells delicious. Can we feed each other? Can we kiss each other after? Mm, maybe off camera. Mmm. Yo. Yo, this is good. Hey, that's actually really good. You like it? Yeah. This is actually fire. Oh, I need some more. It's hey, actually bomb. You know what? It tastes better than like frozen food. I want to try the chicken by itself, bro. I want to see how the quality of this chicken is. It's good. I mean, call me crazy, but I would give it like an eight. It's not crazy. I was going to say around an eight or a nine for me. Mm-hmm. I like it good. It's better than Panda Express. Dad, what do you say we go for some dessert? All right. Let's see if there's any crumbs in there. Oh, mine's not crumb. Mine looks like, like, you know when you give a parakeet a treat? And they like, they hold it like, like, like this, and they eat it like, 
Like that? No. How is it? How is it? It's actually good. Look, look, bro. Sounds like poker chips. Oh, yo. This is actually wrap. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, smell that. Oh my god, that smells so good. Dude, it smells like sweet cream cold foam from Starbucks. It's actually good though. Yo, this looks so good. Let's wait, see the crumbs. Not, it's not cold? What There's the no crumbs. Look at that. Is that styrofoam? Wait, wait, wait. I want to try it. Oh. <laughs> No, it's good. This is insane. No, are you recording my face right now? Yeah. Don't record me from the side angle. My nose is too big. <laughs> this is really good. Let me try it. It actually is good. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is better than the parakeet treat. Here, try this. It's not bad. This is not bad. This is just way better. I feel like this is something they serve in school, like as a snack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was a good meal. Yeah, overall, the whole meal, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. What do you think? Did you give it a 9 for Joe Burrow? We're going to give it a Joe Burrow out of 10. Uh -huh. Fun fact. Did you guys know that only 562 people have been to space? That's it? That's it. Oh my God, that's crazy. And I never knew that. Listen, listen, listen. On top of it, guys, space is only 62 miles above sea level. I thought it was going to be like... A a million that is a fun fact if i've ever heard one dude we could literally if you drive 65 miles an hour like on the freeway we can make it to space in, in 65 minutes if it's 62 miles away then that means in less than in like a minute and like a couple seconds right can we get brandon out of here right now like can we just get him out you're good to go brother okay all right, Mariam, are you ready to try some space food? I am. What are we trying today? We got some creamy macaroni and cheese. Okay. Classic spaghetti with meat sauce. For you. For me, because you're vegetarian. And for dessert, this is going to be great. Last time we tried cookies and cream ice cream. Now it's Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Ice cream sandwich. How was the cookies and cream? Insane. It actually tasted like an Oreo. Before we dive into this, can we give them another fact about space? Fun fact, an astronaut suit weighs about 280 pounds. That's more than double me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? 280 pounds. That's a lot. That's but, like super heavy. But it's heavy when you're here, but when you go into space, it's weightless, right? Right. Like you actually don't feel that weight on you. That's true because you're floating. Space is crazy, man. All right, let's see what the spaghetti with meat sauce looks like. Ooh, look at that. Interesting. This kind of reminds me of MREs. Remember when we ate military food? Yeah. This reminds me of that. The mac and cheese actually doesn't look bad. Yeah. All right, we're going to add the hot water and we'll show you how it looks. <laughs> All right, the spaghetti is ready, and it looks so good. Macaroni and cheese. Oh my gosh, why is it a blob of cheese? <laughs> this one's gonna hit. This one has 10 grams of protein. That one we ripped off, 13. Okay. Wait, mac and cheese has more protein than spaghetti? I think it's the cheese. By the looks of it, it doesn't look too good, but it smells really good. <laughs> you didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, ready? Delicious. I'm definitely undercooked. Oh no. I could try it. You barely got any. Mm, yeah, the macaroni is undercooked. Exactly, yeah. So make sure you leave this in the bag for more than five minutes. Mm -hmm. I guess this is all me, right? Go for it. Okay. Good? This one's really good. How is the spaghetti? Soft. We actually cooked this one well. Well, not really cooked, but left it in boiling water. Yeah. For the right amount of time. I think all in all, it tastes like you got it from a restaurant. That's instantly what I thought of. It just tastes like you went to an Italian restaurant. Oh, that's good. No, you want to try the spaghetti? No, I'm actually good. What it, about it the looks, mac and cheese? No. <laughs> the consistency looks too off. This one's good. I actually like that. Mac and cheese though, not really. The cheese is good, it's just the macaroni that's a little hard. Mm -hmm. What I'm most excited about is the ice cream sandwich. This is the best. Push this off to the side a little bit. Time for dessert. Mm. Mm -hmm. It actually smells like ice cream. Yeah. Ooh, I love Neapolitan. Wow. I usually like the strawberry and vanilla more. Go for it. I'll just, um, ooh. I like chocolate better. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll try this piece. Cheers. Cheers. What are you doing? No, I'm trying to let it like moist up a oh. little bit so it can be a little easier to bite. This slaps. This is so good. I can't even explain to you guys like how good this tastes. It tastes like the chocolate cookie. It's a great dessert. Didn't you find another fun fact? I did. And I'm actually going to book my flight to space right now if that's how it works. Okay. You actually grow five centimeters when you come back from space. <laughs> And that's actually caused by the decreased pressure on the spine when there's no gravity. Wow. I know. All right, let's go. I have to go. I really have to go. I'm five foot seven and a half. I could reach that five eight mark. Five foot seven and a half? I like to round it to six anytime I talk to people. That's fine. There is another better fact. They don't take showers in space. They don't. They use damp cloths. And how long is like an average space trip? I actually don't know that. Yeah, you guys let us know on that one. 
Guys, we're in the back of the Tesla because it's like a spaceship in here. We saved the best for last. Dude, what is this? <laughs> Guys, this looks like toothpaste, but this is actually the first generation of space food, right? It is. And I don't know if I'm eating this one because this one came leaking. Guys, that's actually a burger. I don't think we're going to trust that because we don't want to get sick after no. this. What do you think the language on this is? It looks it Russian. Looks Russian. Look at this, guys. No English on this paste. It says it's vegan. There is one English word on this, and this is actually French fries. Should we try this first or what? Let's do it. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay. And we, what else do we have? We though? have this to kind of cleanse our palate. Biscuits and gravy. That's my favorite. All right, so we're going to pop this thing open. It smells like french fries, dude. <laughs> it smells like McDonald's. Wait, hold on. Did I do it right? Bro, careful, careful. Oh, it's gonna explode. Gonna... Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just poke it. I think it's just very, very hard. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I wonder if this is like really old, because this is first gen, so I'm sure this had to have been sitting for a very long time. This is probably like 50 years old, honestly. Ooh. It's just like mashed potatoes. It looks like potatoes. Should I put some on a plate? I truly don't know if this is safe to eat. Honestly, it's starting to look like mashed potatoes from like a restaurant. Oh, I don't know if I want to eat this it's one. It's a little wet. <laughs> a little wet. How about you try it first and then I'll see your facial expression. It's actually not bad. Really? Like, it's disgusting seeing it come out of a tube. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not bad, right? It's actually not bad. It's like hash browns. I don't think I could finish it though after seeing the way it's served. All right, let's move on to the biscuits and gravy, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not bad. We'll make it look nicer. We'll just kind of like- It smells good. There's some space french fries in my dad's Tesla now. That's cool. A little snack while you're on the road. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice and hot. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, that actually tastes good. I would eat this for dinner just like on a regular basis. You actually used to camp a lot, right? Yeah, I've kind of had similar stuff like this. I was gonna say the food we've been eating, a lot of people use it for camping, but it's also astronaut food. Yeah, because astronauts like, they vacuum seal their food mm -hmm. or dehydrate it. What do you think the astronauts do after they've eaten this food and they have to go to the bathroom though? I'm glad you brought <laughs> that up. There is a way that astronauts use the bathroom in a spaceship. What do they do? So they actually have a toilet and the toilet comes with a vacuum. No way, bro. And you can kind of just put two in two together. It would be a mess if there wasn't the vacuum because it would all just start like floating around. Yeah, yeah. What do you rate this meal? Honestly, this is a nine out of 10 for me. With the French fries? Oh, French fries drop it down to like a six out of 10. <laughs> I was gonna go with like a five because I'm not a huge fan of biscuits and gravy anyways and the French fries dropped it as well. Isn't there a thing that's happening where you can pay to go to space? Oh yeah, what is it? It's like $250,000 or something, right? A quarter of a million dollars for one ticket. Hey, so if this video does well, maybe you're gonna go to space? Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> 100,000 likes. Oh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. If I'm going to space, I need 500,000 likes. Okay, that sounds I, I promise you I'll actually buy a ticket if this video hits 500k likes. All right. Is that too easy for the Rugrats? Maybe we do a million. 750k. That's a lot more like hard to get to, but I think the Rugrat army's strong, right? Definitely. Love you guys. Peace. Peace.